be deliberate. You will never have time to read, but we must intentionally carve out time to be able to study and equip ourselves. We have Lucia Nobog uh, reporting from Trade Fair. Let's find out what the traffic situation is like there. Good morning, Luchi. How are you? And happy new week. Good morning, Olive, and good morning, Adewa. Um, happy new week as well. How your weekend go? Very well, though. Adewa is currently not here because Adewa is sick. So um, I'm having to do the show alone. <laughs> All right. Okay. So this is not a report for Wazobia TV. And um, this act is why they in a trade fair, um, trade fair complex to be precise. And um, for trade fair complex, uh, you go see I'm saying uh, uh, traffic for this place, it did even worse than the traffic way they for road. Um, navigating to this axis wasn't so complicated, even though it'd be like say rain the fall. But getting a place or even driving into the trade fair complex was a big, a mighty, mighty big challenge. So they see I'm so you can see the traffic for there. And this one now for inside one of the complexes, um, this has the Adamawa Plaza, it has the Anambra Plaza, it also has the Sokoto Plaza as well. But you they see I'm now saying so the traffic for here, that inside, just getting inside here. Um, it, it's more than a Caribbean tax this morning. Okay. Um, on your way, though, what was the traffic like from yours to Trade Fair this morning? All right. Um, for me, coming all the way from Bagada Aziz, driving through Selei Jesha all the way to Mautu, and I had to bypass into Festac um, because when I say Mautu itself, now bumper to bumper data access, uh, coming right from that access all the way down to the Trade Fair complex, uh, there was a little bit of traffic also. Don't forget to say today weather report on the on ground say rain go fall. So we don't already see the trinkles of that rain for this axis this morning. That one too is part of the reason why traffic day. In addition to the very terrible roads, the very terrible roads inside trade fair complex. It's a very it's a sad story, but I wait to see. And a lot of the containers, don't forget to say all the things that they import when it comes to drinks, when it comes to food, when it comes to um, clothing, anything where they import, quite a number of them they land. But yeah, a lot of those containers, they also cause traffic because now they also pile up for inside um, trade fair complex along the road. And that one too, they also cause heavy traffic um, for inside trade fair access. Also trade fair, just like every other market, all the trade fair also get days of the week where they open. They open on Monday, they open on Wednesday, they open on Friday. They do not open over the weekend. Okay. And also in terms of observing it doesn't seem like anybody there i haven't seen any face masks since you've been filming i don't think i've seen any face masks it's like life has returned to normal there olive i can almost say that almost like i talk almost i can say it'd be like say people don't really care about the face masks but inside the context as the they walk and enter uh some separate is on ground to make sure say people actually hold their face masks now whether they wear the entirely but even after the context for the Put walk because we had a lot of people who come out from their motor, come out from come down from Okada. They Okada, they try to reach the old shop. A lot of them when we are watch, a lot of them don't actually get their face mask for their face. Maybe they get out for pocket. Maybe they get out for bag. Maybe they get out for purse or wallet. But say they put face mask on their face, quite a number of them are not seeing that number where they actually wear them on their face while I was driving into the trade fair complex this morning. All right, thank you very much. On a much lighter note, Oluchi, we just finished having a conversation with Dr. Chisom Chioma Ibian. Our last charge at the end of the conversation was that everybody needs to pick up the habit of reading books, most especially for whatever area. So our conversation was focused on wealth creation. And we said that anyone who wants to be wealthy has to read books about that. And we know it's not easy, so I want to put you on the spot. When last did you read a book? And if you had, if you had the opportunity to you know, develop yourself in area, any area, what area would you look for to develop developing yourself in? Wow, all in this kind of situation. <laughs> all of us are on the I'm table. All of I'm us are watching, on the I'm table. looking like, like, seriously? Like, like, are you kidding me? Okay, now, look, talking about books, um, this morning I read my devotionals. If that's okay, a book, yes. that one's safe. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes, yes. So I, I, I pass for that one. Then talking about reading books, because a lot of us, the kind of lifestyle they live now, we're always, almost, almost always on the go. True. So a lot of us now, they see if we to get audio books. But the sad part, they say a lot of the authors that we get for Nigeria, when they, they write books, um, sometimes, sometimes the audio version, they get quite a challenge for them to actually publish and put out there for people to actually read. Because now they talk, just as you talk, I mean, they listen to you when they talk, say, if you to listen to them, when you actually, they, when right. you actually do your exercise, yes. you drive, you know, yeah. And that's where audio books actually come in. And a lot of times, a lot of person, people like me, I, they find audio books because I, as I did now, so just as they drive for me, I think they listen to them for inside radio, for radio.
for inside moto as I the waka for the fit to listen to them as compared to reading the book. We don't say e-copies of books they out there. Um, but for me, I prefer audio books anytime, any day. And the one where they focus on, of course, is how to make more money. Very and, uh, important. To, we all want to make money. <laughs> this 2020, there's stuff. going to be a plot twist. Thank you so much yes. for joining us, Luchi, and have a wonderful week ahead. Have a wonderful week too, Olive, and have a wonderful week too. Thank you. So this is something that we must all look at, you know, how best can we improve ourselves? And that's an idea that a lot of intending authors should look at as you're writing your book. Also think about how you can market it via uh, audio versions. I think of apps you can put it on. You can put it on these audio version apps. You can do the audio version whilst you do the written version or right after doing the written version so that more people can have access to it. Like you mentioned, some people are too busy. They don't have the time. So if they can't access the written one, at least they'll be able to listen to the audio one. That's all that we have for now. Uh, thank you very much to Luchi for joining us. This is still the Good Morning Niger show.